हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ लेट्स सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर गिवन दैट ब्लॉक ए हैज़ अ वेट ऑफ एट पाउंड एंड ब्लॉक बी हैज़ अ वेट ऑफ सिक्सटी पाउंड दे रेस्ट ऑन अ सर्फेस फॉर विच द कोफिशेंट ऑफ काइनेटिक फ्रिक्शन म्यू के इज पॉइंट टू इफ द स्प्रिंग हैज़ अ स्टिफनेस ऑफ ट्वेंटी पाउंड पर फीट एंड इट इज कंप्रेस पॉइंट टू फीट determine the acceleration of each block just after they are released right so the spring force is equal to k delta x right and k and delta x are given k is 20 and this is delta x 0.2 the compression is 0.2 right so this is 0.2 f of s is equal to 4 pounds so the spring applies the Four pound force on each of the block, right? So now, if I consider this block A as a free body diagram, right? So when they are released, the spring will apply the force on this block A in this direction. That will be spring force, and it will move. Uh, this it will accelerate this block A in this direction, right? And it will move with an acceleration of let's say A A, right? so the friction force will act in the opposite direction to the motion so this will be equal to mu k times n this will be mu k times n and the surface will apply the normal force on this block a and let's say this is an a right so if this is an a then this is also an a and its weight will be acting vertically downward right so its weight is the weight of block a is 8 pounds right so this is 8 pounds so now for block a if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to m a y right if if this is my positive x and y direction right so as we can see that this block a is only moving in the x direction right so there is no acceleration along y so this will become zero right so the summation of forces along y equals to zero So from this we can say that an A is acting in the positive y direction. So I have to write an A minus the weight of block A, which is eight pounds. This will be equal to zero, or we can say that an A is equal to eight pounds, right? So now uh, this friction force will be equal to mu k. This will be equal to point two times an A, which is eight pounds, right? So now, if I apply the summation of forces along x equals to m a x, and the acceleration in the x direction is equal to a a, right? So a x is equal to a a, right? So now, as we can see that uh, the spring force, which is equal to four pounds, it is acting in the negative x direction. So I have to write minus four, and this friction is acting in the positive x direction. So I have to write plus. 0.2 into 8, and this will be equal to the mass of block A. So we are given the weight, which is 8 pounds. So 8 pounds divided by 32.2 into its acceleration, and the acceleration for block A is A A, right? So this will be A A. So now from this we get minus 2.4 minus minus 2.4. Equals to this thing, which is eight divided by thirty-two point two into a a, and now if we cross multiply, so this will be equal to a a will be equal to minus two point four into thirty-two point two divided by eight. So answer multiply by thirty-two point two divided by eight will give us the acceleration of block a, which is nine minus. A E is minus nine point six six feet per second square. The minus sign indicates that the acceleration is in the negative x direction, right? So this is the acceleration of block A, which was required. Now we will consider the free body diagram of block B. So let's say that this is my block B. Its weight is acting downward. and that weight is 6 pounds the spring force will be acting in this direction right it will push the block b in towards the right so this is that spring force which is equal to 4 pounds 
and the normal force will be acting vertically upward from the surface that is NB. The friction force will be acting in the opposite direction of the motion which will be equal to mu K and B. Right? And the block B will accelerate in this direction and let us say the acceleration of block B is AB. So, now again if I apply, if I consider block B and if I apply the summation of forces along y equals to m a y again the block is moving in the horizontal direction so acceleration in the y direction is 0 so this will be equal to 0 and as we can see that this n b is acting in the positive y direction so we have to write n b minus this weight which is 6 pound this is equal to 0 or we can say that n b is equal to 6 pounds similarly if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to m a x and the acceleration in the x direction is a b so as we can see that this spring force is acting in the positive x direction so i will write plus 4 minus this uh, kinetic friction which is mu k times n b mu k is 0.2 and n b is 6 and this will be equal to the mass of block b this is the mass of block b and here we have the mass of block a right so the mass of block b will be equal to 6 divided by 32.2 so, 6 divided by 32.2 into the acceleration of block B plus 4 minus 0 0.2 into 6. This gives me 2.8 and 2.8 equals to 6 divided by 32.2 AB. And again, if we cross multiply, so we will have the acceleration of block B equal to 2.8 multiplied by 32.2 divided by 6. So, the acceleration of block B is 15.03. So, acceleration of block B is equal to plus 15.03 feet per second square. Right. So, the plus sign indicates that block B is accelerating in the positive x direction and block A is accelerating in the negative x direction. So, this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope you people would have understood this. Uh, kindly like this video if you people want me to solve such more problems. Also, subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet.